KU is hosting College Game Day, hosting another sold out crowd at the booth, and hosting number 17 TCU. Defense starts off strong. TCU quarterback Max Duggan tries keeping the ball himself, but Kenny Logan Jr. shuts him down. Jalen Daniels handoff to Kai Thomas. Thomas breaks through the crowd, is eventually pushed out, but not until after picking up a first down. KU gets on the board with the field goal. It's 10 to 3. Daniels hurts his throwing shoulder just before the half. He does not return to this game. To send it to the half, what better than OJ Burroughs with this interception? KU does get the ball out of the half. Only needs four plays for Jason Bean to find Mason Fairchild. Make that 10 to 7. Bean looking at the right side of the end zone this time, right to Luke Grimm. Makes those legs go dead to keep KU alive with a 17 to 10 lead now. TCU then ties it, takes the lead. Bean goes 38 yards to Quentin Skinner, and we're tied at 24 again. Very opposite from that K-State game. You want to see that again? Okay, Bean with time, deep ball to Skinner. Game is tied at 31. TCU, well, Duggan goes for it again, giving the Horn Frogs a 38 to 31 lead. With about a minute and a half left, KU can't score. Jayhawks get their first loss, 38 to 31. Only on the guys around me, um, you know they they know that the work that I put in, you know, in the off season and, and leading into the season, um, you know, just leaning on those guys because I know that they have my back. Coach K made a really uh, good film study with us and himself and the whole offensive crew that he noticed uh, how kind of like what their tactics were and um, the advantages that we can take because that's one of the biggest things uh, he emphasizes focusing on us and not so much the other team. KU gets OU next weekend.